Let's write the Lewis structure for CCL3F, trichlorofluoromethane. We'll also look at the molecular geometry. So for Lewis structures, we need to first count up the valence electrons. Carbon's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, that has 4. Chlorine, group 17, that has 7. We have 3 chlorine, so we'll multiply that by 3, plus fluorine, which is in the same group here as chlorine, so that has 7 as well. If we add all these up, we get 32 total valence electrons for CCL3F. So we put the least electronegative element in the center, that's the carbon, and then we'll put the chlorines, all three of them, and the fluorine around that carbon. We have 32 valence electrons for this CCL3F Lewis structure. Let's put a pair of electrons between atoms. This forms the chemical bond between the atoms here, and then we'll complete the octets for all of these atoms. So at this point, we've used all 32 of our valence electrons. If you count all of these up, we've used all 32. Each atom has an octet, has eight valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for CCL3F. Let's look at the molecular geometry for a minute. Remember, we have the carbon in the center, and we have one, two, three, four things attached to it. So the purple, that's our central carbon atom. Let's add those three chlorines, one, two, three. You see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Then we'll add that last fluorine atom there, and that pushes these down. We end up with a tetrahedral molecular geometry, and the bond angle's probably about 109.5. They might be a little bit different. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for CCL3F trichlorofluoromethane. We also took a look at the molecular geometry, which is tetrahedral. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.